So it is um, festive season 2023. Yes, it's me. So I'm in the space right now. As you can see, there is nobody. I'm alone. Of course, I don't expect to see anybody here. I also don't understand what I'm doing here, but if you are in phase four at this time, you will definitely be studying. Trust me. So I am. Um, I have just come from my stand up. We just had our our daily stand up meeting with our TMs, and now I'm just getting into the content. And I figured, why not do a day in life with me or <laughs> whichever content that the other youtubers normally do so i'm just gonna film um what it's like being a full-time data science student and you know the importance of actually coming to space um just for the context i am a full-time online student but we are allowed to come to space to just use the space which is normally like so nice because I sometimes kusoma nyumbani it becomes so hectic the space is nice like the environment is amazing it's quiet the wi-fi is good oh my goodness i was deploying an ml model the other day at home in the house and uh, till today it still hasn't deployed because it just gets like the kernel just keeps shutting down so excuse me i do not have my tripod today I'm using my hand and that's a choker but yeah so let's do a day in the life of a full-time data science student So the best thing I love about coming to space is just the ambience. Um, it's in the middle of Westlands, if you know where um, the data science branch is located. But it's normally so quiet and it's such a nice environment to just come and study. So, Hakuna uh, Mtuleo. This is like a little working space over there with my two little snacks. I like snacking a lot when I'm studying. <laughs> so yes let us uh, yeah but i really like this view by the way in a congo view Poasana, and i like staying over here because of the view <laughs> yeah yes i this is like my passport over here so learning a new topic sometimes can get quite scary so what happens is um like today morning we had our stand up. Stand up is just our class session where our technical mentors, lecturers, now introduce us to the new topic. And then we have some students who have already prepared our presentation. So, what we have to make prepare. But then, most of the times, you may not have understood what was introduced in the stand up it's just gonna give you like an overview of what to expect with that particular topic so what i do and th and this is something that i wish I, I had began doing right from phase one what i do every time i'm learning a new topic i use chat gpt ask it hey like today i'm learning about big data so i've asked chat gpt can you teach me about big data and then it gives you an extensive overview about the entire topic of big data. And then now, once I go through that on ChatGPT, I'll now, you know, feel a, a little bit confident when I'm getting into the content now on my LMS. So that's something that has actually worked out for me right from um, phase three. And I think it's something that if you want to, you know, have it easy, you can use that trick of mine so i first of all do my own research ask uh, chat hey teach me about big data such that now even when i get in into the content i'll not get surprised when i need some certain terms i'll have already known about them because of you know what i had done before so that's what i've done <laughs> i have just 
let me just show you guys what I have done you can see today's topic is all about big data and I have no clue about what big data is all about and uh, something that I really don't want to do is to get into the content when I don't even have like a clear overview of what the of what I'm supposed to expect. So ChatGPT has given me a very very nice overview about big data from the beginning to the end. It has even given me learning resources. I'm telling you, as much as um, people are kind of skeptical about AI, ChatGPT is and should be your friend. Um, right now because it's just making learning more interesting and better so now that I have seen all these things guys I am so motivated to get into the content because the overview is so interesting and it and it makes you yearn for more knowledge so that's like a little trick that I have been doing and it certainly helps me a lot so hope it's gonna help you guys as well so i'm also having a checkpoint today i had forgotten about the checkpoint oh yeah so uh checkpoints uh, we have these exercises that we do like twice sometimes it's twice a week sometimes it's once a week and yeah today is the day <laughs> i'm not even prepared for it i don't even know how i'm going to process today's checkpoint but before we even do the checkpoint let's go grab something to eat so something else that you need to know like one of the things i like about coming to space is there's a kitchen <laughs> you can come with your own you know your own food and you know you can actually go and make coffee over there so let's go grab something to eat and then we'll come and do the checkpoint as we continue with the rest of the day Okay, so we're done with lunch break, so let's uh, do our checkpoint now. Checkpoint I wasn't even ready for, but yeah, so it's time series checkpoint. Time series was quite interesting for me by the way, so the checkpoint, as much as I had not like prepared for it, um, at least I understood the concept, so I hope it's not going to be that hard for me by the way, so let's see. Let us see. Yeah, we download the checkpoint. So now let let us load it onto our notebook. So I use Google Collab, by the way. Okay. Let me just talk as I'm doing the this checkpoint because when I was in phase one, I had a lot of trouble with VS Code. You run, you run like the whole no notebook, and the kernel disconnects in the middle. So. I'm not a fan of VS Code and even Jupyter Notebook, though I do use them, but I like Google Collab a lot because it's it's in the cloud one thing and all the packages are pre-installed. Plus the kernel does not disconnect as much as VS Code and the rest. So for checkpoints and for projects, I like using Google Collab because the checkpoints are timed. Where am I even talking? And the checkpoints are timed. Let me talk as I do the work. Yep, yep. So the checkpoints are normally one hour. You're supposed to do it in exactly one hour, guys. Hey, the very first time I was doing these checkpoints, I, I had it tough. It was, it was tough, guys. It was tough. Because I couldn't get a hang of the checkpoints. I, that time I never even like knew how to code very well at least size I'm, I'm better off Kai phase 0 and phase 1 was crazy I'm just remembering those days dark days <laughs> dark days so to my hit checkpoint and then the Satuta Rudi will get back to talking Okay, so I've just finished my my checkpoint. So just um, running all the cells right now. Yeah, everything has to run from the beginning so that 
you can know if your notebook is okay so no errors no errors oh my goodness i can't believe mimi ndosi party error size i remember a few months ago everything was just red so i'm just gonna do- download the notebook and um I'll submit it best thing with google collab it's like so easy to use like i just download it it's just gonna load over there and i push it to my github save as a copy in github so i just send it to my github of course i change the the, the repo so i have a repo where i post all my checkpoints and uh, commit message it obviously this was time series i like pushing everything to my github because this is basically just building up my portfolio my github portfolio so as you're doing these checkpoints it's good to push them to your github and yeah <sighs> oh i have a typo over here oh, yeah so that's the best thing with collab it's so easy to use and i wouldn't risk using vs code especially on anything to do with machine learning so it immediately opens up my github and here is the repo for the checkpoint it also pushes everything that includes the, the data set that you have used as well so that's the best thing with collab i love using collab thank goodness for whoever came up with collab so now let us just submit the checkpoint and we are done for the day of course just do a couple of you know um <laughs> a little bit of study here and there and i'm good for the day and my christmas is gonna begin so we'll meet next time guys thanks for sticking by okay so i'm leaving i'm done with today's work yeah so let's head on over to workshop show you guys where i normally get my drinks just over here in the in the same building they have really nice milkshakes and they are student friendly prices so let's head there So I'm done and I'm off to running other errands for the day. Yeah, so I normally come here half a day. It's like 1 30 right now. So let's go and watch a show together. Thanks for spending the day with me. I, I hope to do another vlog like this maybe next year. Otherwise, Merry Christmas.